Welcome to this question on deferred tax in the context of property, plant and equipment, or more generally long-lived assets. Now, this is a follow-on question from the previous video, so if you didn't have an opportunity to watch that one, please do it first and then come back to this one. Um, there is a link in the description, obviously, taking you to the prior video. It contains, this video contains an important discussion concerning the relevant tax rate that you should be using. So if it's something you want to get right in the exam, do keep watching and let's get solving. This is the same scenario that we had in a previous question. So there is nothing uh, here uh, that would uh, surprise us if you watch the previous video. However, there is one difference. What is the tax base of... Uh, the machine at the end of the second year of its operations if the income tax over here at the second year or end of the second year is decreased to 15 percent and as you can see i've left at least part of the uh, drawings or illustrations from the previous recording where we have carrying amount tax based temporary difference so that we now figure out the effect that a change to the tax rate will have for uh, our computation of the deferred tax liability. Recall that at the end of the day, down here we had deferred tax liability, which was the result of recognizing that this temporary difference, or these temporary differences, were in fact of a taxable nature, which is true whenever you've got an asset, in this case the machine, whose carrying amount exceeds its tax base, at least temporarily. Okay, the only thing that a change to the uh, prevailing tax rate will do is it will actually cause us, at least in year two, to compute the deferred tax liability as the temporary difference times that changed rate. So instead of the previous 20%, it will now be 15%. And 15% 15 of 120 is no longer like before 24,000. It is now 18,000. So that would be the um, value of the deferred tax liability as such. However, this question does not ask for the deferred tax liability. Please note that the question asks over here for the tax base of the machine. And the tax base of the machine doesn't depend on the tax rate being used because it's a function of how, for tax purposes, that piece of equipment is simply depreciated. So identifying the correct answer to this question means saying, look, it's 180 and it hasn't changed from when we previously looked at this, at this scenario. That's why I kept the table. So very simple answer here. It's answer C, 180,000. It's the tax base basically is independent of the tax rate.